The bacterium Helicobacter pylori is a spiral bacterium that infects the lining of the stomach. It is the main cause of peptic ulcers. A peptic ulcer occurs when the stomach acid damages the lining of the digestive tract. It can also cause gastritis, which is the inflammation of the stomach lining. This bacterium was first discovered by Australian pathologist Dr. Robin Warren. Dr. Warren noticed around 50% of biopsies that were taken from peptic ulcer patients had colonies of a bacterium in the antrum. The antrum is a part of the stomach that resides just inside the pylorus. This discovery grasped the attention of another Australian researcher by the name of Dr. Barry Marshall. This was just the start of a great partnership and together they began an extensive study. Warren and Marshall were able to culture the bacterium and determine its presence in patients with peptic ulcer disease and gastritis. However, due to many beliefs that the causes of these stomach issues were stress and lifestyle choices, it was difficult to get others on board. Other doctors and physicians believed stress and things like spicy foods were the culprit for so many years. The criticism and backlash led them to work harder and find other routes to be heard. Though it was difficult at times due to their experiments not being very successful. For example, they injected the bacterium into piglets, but no changes were seen. Without being able to find an animal that showed any results and running out of options, this led Dr. Barry Marshall to do the unthinkable. He took a look at samples of his own stomach where no bacteria were present and then infected himself by drinking a drink containing a live Helicobacter pylori culture. He performed this experiment on himself to prove the bacterium was the cause of peptic ulcer disease and gastritis, and within the next several days, he developed symptoms of gastritis. Warren was able to reevaluate biopsies of his stomach where the bacterium was present. This experiment really helped establish a clear connection between the bacterium and peptic ulcer disease. His courageous act then gained a lot of recognition and had a positive impact on their findings. However, some people were still unmoved and it took several years to be proven. Though the evidence was clear and it was then known as the cause of these infections after many, many years. Marshall and Warren's hard work and commitment was rewarded in 2005 when they received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discovery of the bacterium Helicobacter pylori and its role in gastritis and peptic ulcer disease. Due to Warren and Marshall's perseverance, we now know how to properly treat these illnesses. This reduces the risk of reoccurrence, stomach cancer, or even death. Today, peptic ulcers can be eliminated with the use of antibiotics, and we owe it all to these two Australian men and their commitment to the cause. Thank you.